When the faint trace of an unfamiliar object was first detected, moving across the constellation of Pegasus, astronomers barely registered it as more than another trans-Neptunian curiosity. Yet within days, the motion patterns and velocity estimates began to defy every expectation. The object, later confirmed as 3I Atlas, was not gravitationally bound to the Sun. Its hyperbolic trajectory placed it on a path slicing through the solar system, an interstellar visitor from beyond the Oort cloud, moving faster than any comet or asteroid ever catalogued. The designation 3I marked it as the third known interstellar object to enter our system after the mysterious Oumuamua and the comet Borisov. What startled the global scientific community, however, was not simply its alien origin, but the unsettling combination of its mass, trajectory, and composition. Within days of its confirmation, NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office issued an unprecedented alert, activating the full scope of the Planetary Defense Network to track and analyze the U, intruder in real time. The activation of the network signified that 3I Atlas was no longer an astronomical. Curiosity, it was a monitored target of potential concern. The Planetary Defense Network, a multi-layered global infrastructure combining ground-based observatories, radar installations and orbital assets, had been designed for one purpose, to detect, track and characterize near-Earth objects that might pose a hazard to the planet. But this was the first time the system had been invoked for an interstellar body. Its protocols were written for errant asteroids and wayward comets, not for something that had traversed light years to briefly graze our sun's domain. The decision to bring the network fully online was both a scientific milestone and a sobering reminder of the vulnerability of our planetary neighborhood. Cross NASA's deep space network, antennas locked onto the coordinates relayed from the Atlas Survey Telescope in Hawaii, which had first spotted the object. The Minor Planet Center issued circulars detailing rapid refinements in 3I Atlas's orbit. The object was moving at nearly 60 km relative to the Sun, inbound on a steep hyperbolic arc that would carry it within 0.8 astronomical units of Earth's orbit before slingshotting back into interstellar space. Such velocity ruled out any gravitational capture or potential deflection. But the network's activation was not about intercepting it, it was about understanding it. The sensors, radars and infrared telescopes of the defense infrastructure shifted their focus, recalibrating for this unprecedented target. For a few tense days, every data feed, every spectral line, every faint echo of radar reflection mattered. The coordination extended far beyond NASA. The European Space Agency, JAXA in Japan, and observatories across Chile, South Africa, and Australia joined the real-time tracking campaign. What began as an astronomical observation turned into a planetary-scale surveillance effort. Supercomputers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory ran simulations of its trajectory, modeling how the object's spin, composition, and shape might influence its path. The data suggested something remarkable. 3I Atlas was not merely a fragment of ice and rock like Borisov, but exhibited signs of unusual reflectivity and density variations across its surface. Infrared measurements hinted at metallic components buried beneath a layer of volatile compounds, leading to speculation about an origin in the inner regions of another star system where heavy elements are abundant. As the defense network processed terabytes of data, a global narrative began to form. Scientists debated whether 3 pi Atlas might represent a natural body expelled during planetary formation or a more complex fragment of something else, a relic of interstellar collisions or, in more speculative corners, an artifact of technological origin. While NASA officials maintained a cautious stance, insisting there was no evidence of artificial structure, the curiosity was undeniable. For the Planetary Defense Network, this was not merely about ensuring safety. It was an exercise in expanding the frontiers of what planetary monitoring could achieve. The detection algorithms, radar filters, and spectrographic systems were pushed to their limits, evolving in real time to handle the unknown. At the core of the activation stood the Planetary Defense Coordination Office's mission to serve as humanity's early warning system. Normally, its alerts concerned near-Earth asteroids within a few lunar distances. Yet 3MI Atlas, 
though on a trajectory that would pass millions of kilometers away, was an entirely different class of object. The key concern was not impact probability, but the potential for unpredicted fragmentation. The object's composition was uncertain, and if volatile sublimated as it approached the sun, asymmetric outgassing could alter its path in unforeseen ways. Such behavior had been seen with Oumuamua, whose non-gravitational acceleration still defied complete explanation. NASA scientists were determined to avoid a repeat of that mystery by deploying every observational tool available. Radar sweeps from the Goldstone Observatory provided high-resolution imaging, while the Neowise Infrared Telescope in orbit gathered thermal data attempting to map temperature gradients across its surface. This all-hands-on-deck approach revealed an astonishing level of precision and coordination. Each component of the network performed a unique role. Ground telescopes refined orbital parameters, radar installations probed for structure and rotation, and optical arrays monitored outgassing activity. The Deep Space Network linked these data streams through near-instantaneous communication with JPL's command center. It was a ballet of global technology, demonstrating how decades of preparation for asteroid defense could pivot seamlessly towards studying an object from the stars. The object's light curve oscillated irregularly, suggesting a tumbling motion rather than stable rotation. That motion complicated modeling efforts, but also made 3 Pi Atlas a more valuable target for understanding interstellar dynamics. Reflectivity data fluctuated in ways that hinted at complex surface heterogeneity, possibly a combination of metallic rock and organic carbonaceous compounds. These were materials that spoke to both violent and fertile origins, forged in ancient stellar cores and scattered into the void by supernovae, later coalescing in some alien protoplanetary disk before being hurled outward by gravitational upheaval. For planetary defense specialists, 3T Atlas provided an unprecedented real-world test of systems that had until then only been modeled in simulations. Tracking an object of interstellar velocity required recalibration of sensor networks optimized for slower moving near-Earth bodies. Algorithms that once predicted trajectories days in advance had to be rewritten to forecast minute-by-minute -minute positional updates. Even radar systems had to adjust transmission frequencies to compensate for Doppler shifts far beyond what Earth-based asteroids would produce. Every subsystem was strained, yet every challenge also drove innovation. What began as an exercise in defense transformed into an act of exploration, a meeting point between fear and wonder. Beyond the technological marvel, there was a deep undercurrent of philosophical significance. For the first time since the dawn of the space age, humanity's planetary defense infrastructure, built to protect against existential risk, was engaging directly with something from another star system. The sensors and algorithms created to guard against destruction had become instruments of cosmic discovery. The juxtaposition was powerful. It illustrated a truth that resonated across both scientific and cultural domains, that the act of vigilance can also be an act of curiosity. To protect the planet, one must first understand what lies beyond it. The international response underscored the growing maturity of planetary defense as a discipline. During the early years of asteroid monitoring, data sharing between nations was sporadic and fragmented. But the sighting of 3 i Atlas triggered a rapid, seamless exchange of telemetry data through the International Asteroid Warning Network. Observatories from Europe to South America synchronized observations, compensating for each other's daylight and weather conditions. As Earth rotated, 3i Atlas was never unobserved for more than a few minutes, a global relay of vigilance encircling the planet. This level of coordination demonstrated how deeply embedded planetary defense had become in the infrastructure of modern astronomy. It was no longer an afterthought, but a fundamental aspect of how humanity related to the cosmos. The public's imagination ignited. News of the network's activation spread rapidly, accompanied by images of radar arrays and glowing infrared maps of the mysterious traveler. Artists rendered 3 eye Atlas as everything from a monolithic shard to a spiraling fragment. The fascination stemmed from the idea that something unbound by our solar system's gravity had come to visit, and that humanity now had the means to observe it in exquisite detail. 
The activation of the network was seen not as a sign of fear, but as a symbol of readiness, proof that we had evolved technologically and organizationally to confront the unexpected.